Hello, my aqua friends. Thanks for joining me today. My name's Nicole, and I have this sweet little hummingbird that we're going to make together today. So I just traced my hummingbird on a piece of watercolor paper. This is a cold pressed arches. And once his body is nice and wet, I'm dropping in green gold. I'm trying to mimic that really bright under colors that he has. So we're going to be building our colors. As you can see, these are very, very bright colors. We're going to let that whole thing dry. And then I'm doing those top colors that are darker. This is going to give us the contrast that we're seeing in this reference photo. I have a permanent violet and I'm dropping in the colors where it is darker. So I have some mineral violet. It is a desaturated purple and I thought that it would be perfect color for the wings. Putting in his cute little feet. Now for the beak, I'm using Oprah and with my purple darkening the underside of the beak. Working wet on wet for his wings, uh, starting with your light purple. And while it's still wet, I am drawing in the different sections of the wings. Now before it dries, with a damp brush, you can lift up some color and get even more definition on the wings, and I quite like that effect. So working the other wing in the same fashion, I'm wetting it, putting in those darker lines for the different wing sections, and then lifting with my flat brush. Now for his tail, even though it's orange, there's like undertones of purple and I am going to go with those undertones. So we're going to put a wash of purple on there first, darkening up those tips a little bit. And we're going to let uh, everything dry. So his body is quite dark. Uh, we need a lot more contrast here to make him pop. Coming in with my shadow green. This is my darkest green. It's a very desaturated green. I absolutely love this color. You could use it in replacement of the neutral tint or with neutral tint. Uh, you could also use indigo blue would also be a good choice to get him darker in all these areas. But notice as soon as we do that how much he pops off the paper. Putting a darker glaze on those wings, that front wing is darker. So toning down those purples a little bit. I just want it peeking through. For the orange tail, I'm coming in with burnt sienna. And then using my darker colors, my shadow green, in order to get those dark areas and the definition of his feathers. Last but not least, we're going to add his pupil. 
And that is how you make this cute little hummingbird. If you're interested in buying the digital file, I did make a whole bunch of summer birds with some foliage with cute little sayings, and you can find that on my Etsy channel. My name on Etsy is Creative Last by Nicole. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week.